Big welcome to TensorFlow London. Uh, we are totally welcoming newcomers. We run this event every six weeks down here at Rise. And uh, welcome to any locals. Always love seeing some familiar faces. Our aim is to bring you fresh perspective on TensorFlow to help you pick up tips, strategies, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate or an expert. Um, this is definitely the place to hear how people are using TensorFlow to better the world, better their businesses um, in real life use cases. Our intentions for this meetup is, yes, to bring you new perspective on TensorFlow, but it's also about breaking down barriers and um, helping you guys you know, expand your networks, meet new people and meet new friends. So without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Alex and Clive, our CEO, Seldom CEO and CTO. Great, thank you, Andy. Uh, so uh, we recognize in Seldom that there's a huge problem in actually deploying machine learning models into production. And uh, since 2014, uh, we've been building a machine learning platform uh, we've, we made open source, and uh, really what we wanted to build was an end-to-end -end product uh, that goes, does everything from uh, data, uh, data uh, prep, feature transformation, model building, and uh, eventually then deployment. And we went on a journey, really, on, uh, towards focusing that product, and in the last year, we really doubled down on deployment, and uh, the, um, many of you who have been here before will have seen some of the demos we created of this um, uh, this new uh, enterprise product called Seldom Deploy, which provides a fancy new interface that people can use to uh, manage their machine learning deployments and collaborate uh, um, with other members of their data science team. It allows for very advanced uh, kind of deployments to be created, which combine the outputs of multiple models and allow tests to be run. Um, but what we didn't say when we did this initial demo is also that there's a huge amount of work that went into actually rebuilding our entire open source uh, machine learning product from scratch uh, in order to, to deliver on this product. And uh, we just really launched that in, um, uh, in December. So we soft launched it in December and we announced it in, uh, in January. And it's called Seldom Core and it's machine learning deployment for Kubernetes. Uh, so it really it leverages the very best available technologies that uh, you know, Google has cr created with its large scale um, compute platform and uh, container technology, and allows you to define these advanced, uh, what we call inference graphs, or model graphs, uh, and deploy those into production on any cloud platform. Uh, so you can download that today uh, from GitHub, and uh, what we've been really blown away by on this is that uh, we've released a product which we think has got very, good, very strong um, sort of product market fit in the developer community. So we have uh, seen about a 400% increase in activity uh, on GitHub since we released Seldom Core, uh, you know, above the product which we've been uh, sort of promoting for, for a number of years before then. And uh, we just opened up a Slack uh, group for members of the community to kind of engage with us and uh, discuss issues and pull requests. We now uh, have over 80 people in that group since a couple of weeks ago, and we'd invite anyone here to join, come and, come and chat with the Seldom team, and, uh, you know, to discuss your machine learning problems and... Uh, uh, and, and you know, feel free to ask any, any questions. Uh, we're excited to have a few pull requests already, including our friends at Weaveworks, and uh, you know, we're really seeing this as an organically growing uh, part of, the, um, you know, of our product, um, and you know, an organically growing community. So one of the big issues that uh, we, I've seen, you know, speaking to lots of investors, is uh, when we're releasing a machine, when we're building a machine learning platform that is effectively horizontal and, and can be used across industries, is you know how can you compete against uh, big companies like Google and Amazon? And you know, actually, in the mind of most of most investors, they think basically this is going to happen, and uh, you know we'll just get squished. And uh, it's one of those um, things where I've constant, it's so many times I've had to put out um, kind of uh, feature comparisons, SWOT analysis. Um, and uh, you know, analyzing our market position. Uh, but you know, what we uh, have believed is that we share a lot of the kind of same um, kind of core values and interests that uh, and are trying to achieve the same kind of things that uh, you know, people at Google have been building. And so we came across a new um, a team that's building a new product in um, uh, around like, November, late last year, uh, called Kubeflow. And this is a, uh, a new project, a new open source project, 
that um, uh, one of the one of the founding members uh, is um, uh, was was a project lead at Kubeflow, or so um, Kubernetes, and uh, uh, this is a project to really bring um, a full end-to-end -end machine learning uh, toolbox to Kubernetes. Okay, so. Uh, uh, obviously, that sounded a little bit like in competition, but we got speaking. We started speaking with them, and what we found is that there's a really exciting opportunity to collaborate. And so, we've been collaborating with uh, with the, the, the team at Kubeflow, and we've now completed an integration so that you can actually use Selden Core to deploy machine learning models. Um, and some of the reasons that they wanted to integrate with us is uh, that Selden supports any uh, machine learning library, not just uh, TensorFlow. Uh, we also have this advanced uh, model uh, graph or uh, in inference graph, and uh, you know we are basically leveraging the very latest uh, Kubernetes technology. So really pushing the you know the um, pushing things forward in that sort of growing ecosystem around Kubernetes. So you know we uh, we're super excited to have, uh, have done this integration. I'll invite our CTO uh, to explain a little bit more about um, you know what it means. Uh, cheers, Alex. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I just want to say a few words just to position the two uh, um, projects here, Kubeflow and uh, Selden Core. Um, and so the first thing is they're both machine learning on Kubernetes. So for those of you who don't know Kubernetes, it's an orchestration platform for Docker, which basically means you can create complex services, you know, web apps and obviously machine learning, to run them at scale from a single machine up to thousands of machines. So it's a great platform to allow you to deploy complex things like machine learning. So what we're doing at Selden, um, Selden from Selden Core, our open source that's released in January, is really just focusing on the uh, deployment side. So just when you've created the model, to actually deploy it into production, scale it, and scale it up. So there's several things that really make us stand out. That's um, one is that we're, as I say, we're trying to handle complex graphs. So not just deploying a single model, but A/B tests, multi-arm bandits, ensembles. Um, outlier detection, concept drift, allow you to add all these things into a complex graph you want to put into production and then change between those. So you can deploy them with no downtime as requests are coming in, um, change between these different graphs. So that's one thing we're trying to do. Another thing is we want to be completely agnostic in terms of what you as data scientists actually build your models in. So you can build them in TensorFlow, any Python model, R, Spark, and then we want to be able to actually deploy them in into production on top of Kubernetes. And finally, expose those using gRPC and REST so you can easily tie those into your business apps. That's what we're trying to do. And then Kubeflow, which came along about December and January, is really, as I see it, a sort of large ecosystem for um, doing machine learning. So one of those things could be deployment. And for that, you'd plug in Seldom, Seldom Core there to do the deployment. Or well, you could choose other things as well. But they're trying to do the whole thing to make data science easy on Kubernetes. So they're trying to do workflows so you can package your models and create Docker containers easily using tools like Argo. They're trying to make the data, obviously, which is the starting point for all four machine learned models, how to tie that in with different sort of file systems easily, and also allow you to experiment, like things like Jupyter no Notebook Hubs, to allow you to do all this in production and doing it uh, with experience of Google. So their engineers work on this to make it really, really um, easy to create a production level machine learning uh, pipeline. So what we've done, and it's now just been re released today on Kubeflow's website, um, Kubeflow's repo is a, is, is a demo that goes end-to-end -to, -end, um, to actually uh, train a TensorFlow and SkyKit learn model, uh, take it through training, deploy it, and scale it up using A-B tests and multi arm bandits. So it's all there, show you how you can actually put it together in one single um, uh, sequence. So it'd be great to get feedback. If you're interested in doing machine learning on Kubernetes, there's the link, and we'd be great to get feedback on, on what we're doing here. So thank you very much. Thank you.